Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, to discuss further into polar coordinates, and I'll look at an interesting property of polar coordinates, and that's the fact that you could write any point in infinite number of ways or represent so before I get to that, let's look at Cartesian coordinate system first, which is the basic xy, uh, XY axis system. So in the Cartesian coordinate system, every point has only one representation, just to show you the difference. For example, if you had the xy plot like this, draw this better, like that, xy, then let's say you had a point across here, and let's say the coordinates are, this is 1, and this is, let's say, uh, 3. So this point is going to be 1 and 3, and only 1 and 3. It's not going to be anything else. If it's somewhere here, let's say this is 4 and this is 2, this, is, this point is going to be at uh, 4 and 2, and only 4 and 2. You can't write this in any other way on this coordinate system. Yeah, but in the polar coordinate system, each point has many representations. In fact, you could write this as infinite number of representations. For instance, in polar coordinates, the uh, the point 1 and 5 pi over 4 could be written in multiple ways. Remember, uh, these are written as well, r and theta, and I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, so in our, in our case, we have r is equal to 1, and theta is equal to 5 pi over 4. And now to graph this, let's first uh, realize which quadrant this is inside. So, yeah, so first thing to do, well, what we could do is, uh, you could just think of it like this. If this is a uh, zero angle, this is pi over 2, this is pi, and at this point is going to be pi over 2 plus, uh, this is plus pi over 2, like that. And that's just a 90 degrees. And this one is, you add these up, common denominator, that's just going to be 3 pi over 2, like that. So we want to know in which quadrant uh, this angle is. So what we could do is, well, we know that 5 pi over 4, so 5 pi over 4 is, well, greater than pi, because remember, that's just 4 over 4. You'll see 5 is greater than 4. So it's greater than this one. So it's going to be uh, below or beyond this angle. And we'll write this like that. But now we want to check if it's uh, less than 3 pi over, over, I'll put a question mark, 3 pi over 2, just because, uh, yeah, you, you could see it, it, it is actually uh, less than it. So 3 pi over 2, yeah, so 3 pi over 2, if we just uh, multiply by this common on denominator of 4, it's 2 over 2, that's just equals to, well, 6 pi over 4. So yeah, I just want for completeness sake to show you. So 6 pi over 4 is obviously bigger than 5 pi over 4. So then that means that uh, this angle is between this 3 pi over 2, which is the 6 pi over 4. So it's going to be somewhere over there like that. Yeah, so I'll just draw that separately. So we know the angle is going to be like that. So one way of representing this coordinate point is going to be like this. Let's write this. This is the angle. Here we have it's, the distance is 1. So we have 1. This, this is going to be r. And this is all the way across this theta or uh, this is r is 1. This is 5 pi over 4. This is going to be 5 pi over 4. Yeah, so that's one way of writing it, but uh, because we're dealing with uh, this representation, we could just do, rotate this around many, many times. So we could even write this in another way. So I'll write number 2. A different way to write this point is either, well, we could add uh, 360 degrees to it or 2 pi radians, or just look at it backwards. We could even look at the angle here and look at a negative angle. So we know uh, positive is counterclockwise by convention, and that's what I'll, I'll be using, and then negative is clockwise. So if we had that same angle like this, or, or same point here, and the distance is 1, so we have 1, and now we look at the angle, that's, let's call this theta, like that. So this is a negative angle. So this theta, like here, this is going to be, well, that's just going to be, well, 2 pi radians subtracted by this, yeah, this, this whole thing is 2 pi like that, and then subtract this by this theta 5 pi over 4. So that's the absolute value of this, where it's going to be negative, I'll just put the absolute value to get this particular angle there. So this is going to be 2 pi minus 5 pi over 4. So look at the common denominator, 2 over, uh, multiply 2 over 2, so that, actually not, not 2 over 2, 4 over 4. Yeah, so we have this common denominator, so that's 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 8 minus 5 over 4, and then pi like that. 
this just equals 2, 8 minus 5 is 3. So 3 over 4 pi, in other words, this is going to equal negative 3 pi over 4. So then this point here is negative 3 pi over 4. Now these points are the exact same thing. So this is the same, same, same thing. Now we could even write this, let's write this one other way. And, and this one is uh, if we just added 360 degrees to it. For example, if this point here, we can extend it. So we can go like this and then loop all the way around to get this here. And all we did was add a full 360 to this uh, 5 pi over 4. So this angle of theta, and I'll write this point 1, and then we have theta is equal to, write it here, equals to, uh, 2 pi plus our 5 pi over 4. So we're just adding 2 pi to it. To common denominator 4 over 4. Again, we have now an 8 plus a 5 over 4 pi. 8 plus 5, that's just 13. So 13 over 4 pi. So this equals to 13 uh, pi over 4. And now this point is 1 and 13 pi over 4. So then this point is the exact same as this. Let's just do one more example. We can now do, yeah, what we could do is look at a negative distance. So to do that, uh, recall that to do that we go here and then we have to draw a negative dashed line is usually representing a negative distance. So this is negative 1. So I'll write this as negative 1 and now we have to find the angle and the angle is, is just across this like that and this is our angle theta, and now we go backwards to negative one. So to get this angle, because we know this distance is just pi, so what we do is we take the full angle, five pi over four, and then subtract, uh, subtract, it, uh, subtract pi from it. So this whole thing from here to here is five pi over four, and then we just subtract. So theta is equal to five pi over four subtracted by pi times by 4 over 4 common denominator. So 5 minus 4 is just 1. So we have 5, I mean we have pi over 4. This equals to pi over 4. This equals to pi over 4. So this is the exact same point as that. So what we have is this point 1, 5 pi over 4 can be re represented like this. Uh, so it can be written in different ways. So this means that in polar coordinates, in polar uh, coordinates, yeah. So in polar coordinates, we have the angle one, or uh, the point one, and five pi over four is equal to it's the exact same thing as writing one and a negative. Uh, what was this one? Negative three pi over four. Yeah, negative uh, three pi over four. Write this down. Three pi over four. And then this equals 2, the same thing as writing 1 and 13 pi over 4. That's adding a 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. And this also equals to, uh, in this case, negative 1 pi over 4 like that. So that's our 13 pi over 4. So as you can see, yeah, it could do many ways. And in fact, you can go infinitely different uh, number of ways. Yeah, so now let's look at a more general one. So basically, in fact, a complete counterclockwise rotation is given by the angle, yeah, since it's given by the angle 2 pi, that's just 360 degrees. The uh, point, or the 2 pi radians, the point represented by the polar coordinates r theta is also represented by, yeah, by, and let's, uh, and I'll draw that soon. Let's look at it in more general. So let's say we had polar uh, coordinate here. And I'll draw this point, and there's the origin, uh, this origin O. So this angle is theta. This right here yeah, is the point R theta. But to get to this point, we can just, well, flip this around a full uh, 360 degrees. So in other words, that is just our uh, 2 pi. But then if we continue it further and further around, we can get unlimited amount of times. So in other words, in other words, we can write this as uh, this angle right here as r uh, and theta equals two. Yeah, it's the same thing as writing r, and now we have theta plus two pi, and then n like that, where n is just yeah, n is just an integer. Yeah, so n equals 
integer, any integer, let's write any integer like that. Yeah, just fix that up and just box that, uh, put in a box and wrote where n is just an integer and this just equals to, we could write as 0, it could be as if it's 0 then it's just theta, if it's 1 it will just be, well, uh, theta plus 2 pi, you could have a negative, etc. You can flip it backward, same thing, you're always going to get back to the exact same point. So plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, etc. You can go on and on. Yeah, so that's one way of writing it an infinite number of ways, but we could also I'll put a dot 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 to get further and further, but we could also uh, look at the negative side as well. So you could, uh, there's many ways of writing this infinite number of ways. So if we look at the negative side, we could have and I'll just put an and. So we could also do if we have this like here. So let's look at a negative dashed line across to get to this point here, and this is a negative r. Yeah, it's a negative r, but now we want to know that, that value. So that, that's going to be this point. If you have to just draw this exactly like this, this is uh, distance of pi. Now this is our theta. So then this distance, or at this point here, this full angle, I'll draw it like this, is equal to theta plus pi, like that. And then if we just add 2 pi to this, so then we have, it, that's theta plus pi, but now we can add this infinite number of times, loop it all the way around. We also draw it inside here, so we can just loop it around like this infinite number of times, etc. So then, if for that same exact thing now, what we have is, we could write this as, uh, at this point, r theta, so we could write r theta is equal to, so this point r theta, is equal to negative r, and now that that uh, angle could be uh, pi, I mean theta plus pi, plus now again 2 pi n. Yeah, so we could just add 2 pi n as well, because our, our angle now is pi over, uh, yeah, pi, pi plus theta. So then we can uh, just to simplify this further, we could add this up. This equals to negative r and now just factor out the pi, so we have a plus 2n plus 1 pi, like that. So that is our point like that. There. Yeah, so then this is just more complete. r theta, like that, is the same thing as here, where again n is just an integer above. And now just do it for completeness, I'll write that in this point as well. So then this point here is just negative r and theta plus 2n plus 1 pi, like that. And yeah, and that's all based on looking at a negative r represented by the dashed line. So we go to this angle, but now we go backwards to negative r here negative r, like that. So anyways, yeah, that's all for today, and that's uh, one way. You could also write it in different ways if you wanted to do a negative angle. Basically, there's many ways of writing uh, this in more general terms. These are some of the ways that my Cogos book shows, and also these are an example of showing how you could write this. Just many ways, four ways here. There's many other ways you could write any given point. So the point can be written multiple ways, and in fact has infinite uh, infinite representations, not just many, infinite. And then versus uh, the regular Cartesian, this is one only representation. representation. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this video on this uh, cool property of polar coordinates, and again, it's based on its circular definition where you go loop around and uh, back and forth, etc. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact nodes in the link below. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solve.